Who or what is Whistler's greatest icon? That's a question we're here to answer once and for all at the final installment of the Whistler Museum's Icon Gone. Welcome to the sixth annual and potentially final Icon Gone. And tonight, you're going to see the, the Whistler Museum's idea of bringing back history by having icons debated and defended. Eight people went head to head to debate the history of Whistler. Everything from dogs to Myrtle Phillip to Toad Hall and naked skiers. It's about Whistler's soul. It's about uh, determining the greatest aspects of our history and bringing them out and making sure that the crowd is aware of them and celebrating them. A woman in those days needed the vision and the spirit of adventure. Myrtle Phillip is Whistler's biggest icon. Nobody talks much about Stefan Pless anymore, but in his day, he was a player. In the 1960s, he would take people up in the mountains. He was, he was Whistler's first mountain guy. The old triple peak chair. Maybe your lines would have looked something like this. We still got people jumping off Air Jordan naked and people doing laps on 7th Heaven in the nude. And enhancing the resort experience. <laughs> It comes to sustainable tourism development. I think uh, naked skiers are the way to go. A toad hall emerged from our snow junkie squatters getting kicked out of the original cabin once the real owner, Charlie Hillman, found out about them living there. Toad Hall will never truly be gone. I hope you'll invite me back for another round, so cheers! And Angie Nolan brings it home for 2013 Icon Gone Champion, Angie Nolan. Everybody likes to think that Whistler still has a free spirit because we all live here. We don't want to think that we've lost it. So I think it might reflect the fact that people really do think that's the core of what Whistler is, what it, what it meant to them when they first came here and what it still means to them today. And so it's, we're trying to revive and maintain that free spirit and Toad Hall winning kind of reflects that. Toad Hall is really the entire essence of Whistler. I, I mean, I know we had the pioneers, but the only reason that people come from all over the world right now, right here, is because of that ski bum attitude. They, they don't want to come here to like work for a corporation. And Toad Hall was the first sort of non-establishment that represented all of that. Toad Hall is still and will always be in our hearts. So thank you for voting. Love you guys for working on Keep It In Your Heart. In the end, I think the result is that history is alive and well in Whistler. For the Whistler question, I'm Tanya Fulbert.